Hello and welcome to our channel, Cheating Exposed. Today, we're revealing another story to uncover the truth behind the lies. So, let's get started. Married for two years and together for four, my wife started seeing her ex while I was away for work. We decided to move past it, but now our lives changed when she told me that she was pregnant with his child. I work on a river barge, so I spend about a month away from home at a time for work, followed by two weeks off. I've been doing this for the last year, since I got laid off from my other job. I had just gotten back after about a month and found out that my wife had been having a relationship with an old boyfriend, who recently came back to town. I asked her how many times they met, and I wish I hadn't. She said she wasn't sure and that it had been a continual thing. They started talking on Facebook a few months ago, but it had only been innocent catching up until this last time. I laughed, this time, they agreed to meet up and had basically been having physical relations all month while I was away. She said she had planned to end it when I got back and knew she had to come clean. She let me look at her Facebook messages and text messages for proof and the messages were consistent with her story and timeline. My initial reaction was that the marriage was over. I felt betrayed, hurt, and didn't think I'd ever be able to trust her again. I work my bottom off so that she doesn't have to work while she's in school. I felt like being faithful was the least she could do for me. She knew what marriage meant to me long before we took our vows. Both of us are Catholics, we aren't perfect Catholics by a long shot, but we're deeply religious. I stress to her that, for me, marriage is a forever commitment and our vows meant something to me. I told her that I knew I wanted to be with her for the rest of my life, but only if she could promise me that she knew the same thing. I stayed at a friend's place for a few days and thought it over. First, I talked to our priest. He reminded me what I signed up for and believed that marriage is a forever commitment and that means being able to forgive and work past our problems. He recommended that for now, I find work closer to home, so I can be with my wife, and that we seek marriage counselling either through the church or with a therapist. I also talked to some of the older guys I work with, and it gave me some perspective. A lot of them had gone through the same thing, some of their marriages survived, and a lot of them didn't. But all of them agreed that spending long periods away from home can be rough on any marriage, but especially tough for young marriages. I understand that feeling constantly lonely and being by yourself in an empty house is hard. They talked, and she assured me that she loved me. She promised me that her old boyfriend meant nothing to her, that she just felt alone. She also promised that she would cut all contact with the guy. She understood that she would have to work hard to earn my trust back, agreed to give me access to her Facebook, and allowed me to check her phone randomly until I can trust her again. She also agreed to go to marriage counselling. On my end, I've agreed to find a local job so that I can be with her and focus on our marriage. We haven't been intimate since the day she came clean to me. I wanted to take it slow, and she has respected that. We've been kissing, cuddling, and sleeping in the same bed more recently. She's been insisting on working her hands, which I'm okay with. She says she just wants to know that I still want her and that she wants to please me. I do want her and I appreciate her efforts. Still, no physical relations though, it's not her, it's me. I still find her attractive, but I think it's going to take a little while before I feel like making love to her again. I guess I still feel disgusted by the prospect of it, like she's unclean or something. She understands how I feel and is okay with it. She offered to let me see other women to get even or to get some physical release, but I declined. I don't want to be with somebody else, I want to be with my wife, and I just want things to go back to normal. Two weeks later, we find out she's pregnant. Obviously, I'm not the father. I'm the only person she has told about this so far. Being religious, termination is off the bat and off the table for us. I told her that I want her to put the baby up for adoption. I'm willing to forgive her and repay our marriage and I can look past an awful lot. What I know I cannot do is go through every day looking at a reminder of her infidelity and having this other guy intertwined in our lives in some capacity. I can't do it. 
I know that probably makes me a poor Christian, but I've got to believe that God understands I'm not perfect and forgives me. She wants to keep the baby. She says that the other guy never has to know about it and that she understands our marriage cannot survive with him in our lives, but her opinion is that it isn't the baby's fault. The baby didn't ask to be born out of an unfaithful relationship and we would be unnecessarily causing ourselves to suffer by putting the baby up for adoption. She also says that the baby is a part of her and that she would like to be able to love and accept the child as a part of her instead of seeing the child as a part of the other man. I understand where she is coming from and I get that it would be terrible to carry a baby knowing that you've got to give it away as soon as it's born but I can't do it. I really don't know what else to say. She agreed to go talk to our priest about it, but regardless of what he says, I can't see either of us changing our minds. My marriage might be over, and all I feel like doing is having a drink until I pass out. I barely think about it, but we haven't even talked to our families about the infidelity yet, let alone the pregnancy. The whole thing is embarrassing, and I don't want the attention. I don't want people telling me we're in their prayers, while judging our marriage, and guessing how each of us failed. I just want it all to go away. I am going to go ahead and see if I can meet with an attorney tomorrow and find out what I need to do to ensure that I won't be financially responsible for the child. I expect that she will probably be angry and see this as some sort of power move to force her into adoption. It's clear to me that I could not be happy raising another man's child, it's just too much to ask. I plan to talk to her and tell her that while I forgive her for the cheating itself, the marriage is lost. We're at an impasse where one of us has to lose for the other one to win. There is no half in, it's all in, or all out. Moreover, it isn't fair to deny the father's child a chance to know he is a father, or the child a chance to know who his father is. I don't personally fault him for what happened. I don't know him, he doesn't know me. I question his morals for messing with a married woman, but it isn't as if he had any duty or pledged loyalty to me. It's my wife I should be angry with, if anything. I can't even manage that. I just want to get this over with and move forward. Now, here is the update after a few days. I've spoken to a good friend, an attorney about it this morning, and he has offered to represent me and work with me on cost. I've decided to move forward with initiating the divorce. As I've said, I have forgiven her for what she did, but I've also recognized that forgiveness doesn't mean that it would be healthy for either of us to remain in the marriage. I can't raise this child. I don't blame the child, but I know I would resent it every day, even if my wife agreed to adoption. I know that she would resent me for pressuring her to do it. The fact is, she has made her choice emotionally, we both know what she wants the outcome to be, and the best thing I can do for both of us in the long term is to stand my ground. If I'm able to get an annulment through the church, fantastic, if not, so be it. I've got a hard time believing that God will not forgive me for this. For now, my attorney has advised me not to tell my wife and instead to collect all evidence I have of the relationship first. I'd like to believe that my wife wouldn't try to destroy the evidence, but given what has happened and what is at stake, I'm not going to take the chance. I'll speak to her sometime this week and ask her to leave. When I spoke to my priest about what had happened, I brought up the subject of annulment. He explained that it is not an easy or guaranteed process. Essentially, you have to prove that some element of a valid church marriage was missing at the time of, or leading up to, the ceremony. Adultery after the fact doesn't qualify in and of itself, but could be considered evidence that the unfaithful partner did not intend to uphold their vows at the time of the marriage, which would make it null, however, that is subject to the judgment of the church tribunal that hears the matter. He stressed that the first thing we should do is attempt to reconcile and take things one step at a time. He also said that if reconciliation has failed and an annulment is not possible, it would not be inherently sinful to get a civil divorce. The problem, from the church's point of view, would be if I were to remarry, 